Efforts at the South Carolina State House were instrumental to enacting new federal protections for working moms. They specifically help workers who are breastfeeding and they're now in effect across the U.S. State House reporter Mary Green has those details. In 2018, South Carolina enacted comprehensive protections to prevent pregnancy discrimination in the workplace. But that legislation left out some workers, including many new moms who had returned to their jobs. I've worked on several jobs where, you know, I went into, I would go have to take a bathroom break and there would be a breastfeeding mother in there in a stall pumping. So we've heard so many stories about people having you know, to escape to the bathrooms or run all the way across, you know, an extensive campus at a university. Um, and that's just not practical. And to me, that was just so degrading. And um, I said, if I ever get a chance, you know, I'm going to see what I, if I can do something about this. So Democratic Representative Rosalind Henderson Myers of Spartanburg pushed for the passage of the South Carolina Lactation Support Act. All employers need to provide both space and time for their employees to be able to pump at, at work. It crossed the finish line to become state law during the throes of the pandemic in June 2020. That helped move along federal action. And that did help make a really strong case to Congress that if we can get this done in South Carolina with the kind of bipartisan unanimous support and in the midst of a global pandemic, Congress should be able to do the same. The change now in place across the country stems from the Pump for Nursing Mothers Act, PUMP standing for providing urgent maternal protections. It requires workplaces provide private space that's not a restroom and adequate break time for workers to express breast milk. It's now fully in effect nationwide after President Biden signed it late last year. Henderson Meyer says this is a win win for employers and for employees who might have felt uncomfortable or been unable to pump at work without these protections. So they either abandon uh, breastfeeding their baby or they decide that they're just going to quit uh, their job. It also affects uh, businesses in that they don't have to replace that employee and, and retrain, rehire and retrain. The Federal Pump Act also allows employees to seek legal recourse if their employer violates the new protections. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Government data shows about 9 million additional workers are now covered under those new federal protections.